my channel my name is Doyen and this segment of my channel is all things British Nigerian feel free to subscribe it would be nice so as you can tell I have successfully been able to braid over my hair but basically just to recap in my previous videos I uh, dyed my hair a burgundy blaze color and then I braided up my hair this segment of my channel is just to pretty much discuss all things music creativity and my experiences and discussions that um, pertain to uh, being of British and Nigerian origin so if you're uh, interested and if you have any topics that you think will be interesting to cover as a Nigerian as a British person or any beautiful human around the world please feel free today we're gonna dive straight in and we're gonna be talking about food glorious food so who doesn't love food right um, so I <laughs> genetically am uh, more on the slim side I always have been a UK six um, size six I've always been sort of slim my whole life I've not really been endowed with that kind of you know um, and one thing that contributes to that also is living in a Western society or European if I be, if I'm specific and you know the food regulation laws that uh, do occur in the UK that's quite present home cooked meals was like essential we didn't really have that leisure of just eating whatever we set were desiring it was like a you know a regimented sort of thing making sure you're getting in your proteins your carbohydrates and uh, my parents ensured that we had um a balanced diet so today i'm going to be discussing my favorite british foods and my favorite nigerian foods let's begin i think it's important to have a healthy balanced diet um, and obviously the world you live in, where you live in, has a huge part to play. Living in uh, the West and, and, and Britain precisely, where food is regulated a lot. Um, but to be honest, my parents are Nigerian and I think it's about personal choice. So my mum was very um, uh, keen on ensuring that we had a balanced diet and she achieved that through discipline. I'm so, so ever, ever thankful to my parents for ensuring that um, whilst genetics had a great role to play, that they ensured that um, I knew the importance of what was going inside my body. So we're gonna jump into food. Now, food, thumbs up this video if you are a foodie. Okay, high five, we can be friends. So food obviously is a huge element in every single culture. And I think one of the beautiful parts about being British Nigerian is that I get to indulge in the incredible tantalizing tasty Nigerian food. And today I'm gonna to be listing my favorite British food and my favorite Nigerian food. Now, because I don't know if some of the British food I like is of British origin, because I feel like everything in the UK is pretty much imported. And a lot of, we kind of take a lot of inspiration from all around the world. My top Nigerian food. Number one, I like, and please don't, um, if my Yoruba is wounding you, Angel, please Emma, be moved. Number one will be Amala. Um, I love Amala, it's like a kind of, yeah it's amazing amala would be definitely number one i love eba i love a wedding and see what it looks like um i love plantain for a long time i loved plantain and gizzards oh my favorite thumbs up if you also like plantain and gizzard i love goat meat um i don't really eat meat as much i'm not a vegan or vegetarian i'm i'm just me i I just eat what I want pretty much, but I'm not someone who indulges in things like um, fast food and stuff. I gravitate towards this healthy food anyway. Um, I love making smoothies. I love home cooked meals. I rather have my food fresh, hot, hot. Thumbs up if you like your food hot, hot. Am I the only one that just like, you know, when you go to a restaurant and people are busy talking and it's like food is getting cold like we can do both but it's like i love when my food is piping hot i love red stew like i'm a simple kind of chick i love red stew uh it will do and i'm like i'm good to go lately i've been really 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 loving fried rice um which i guess is a kind of generic dish which spreads across you know african countries as well as uh, asian countries um i love fried rice i know there's jollof rice as well but i've been i can eat fried rice every single day I um, also love catfish, uh, I really enjoyed it during my uh, last visit in Nigeria, which was November 2023. Um, those are the top that come to mind. Now for British food, hmm. hmm. It's hard, like, <laughs> I don't know if these are British foods. Please correct me if I'm just... Ah. So I love noodles. 
Um, I love spaghetti dishes, which I guess is Italian. Um, I love prawns, so seafood, which I guess, again, which is <laughs> highly consumed all around the world. Uh, I love, I love a bit of spice to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I have to add pepper in everything that I do. Um, no offense to British people, but I really find that, I don't know if they're in denial, but some British cuisine is, it does lack a lot of flavor. And being Nigerian, it's like, I'm used to like, punches of seasoning and and you know it's not like always recipe dependent where you've got your little spoon and you're measuring like no that's not what i don't know west african culture we don't not that i know of we just put in a bunch of stuff but one thing about um that i love about belonging to a culture is that seasoning and spices are key it's not I, i've never seen an auntie or uncle or any family member or anyone cook without like spices and sometimes you see in some um british homes like they have probably over time been rid to just like let the juices do its own thing but i'm like sis why is this chicken looking like it needs some love like it needs some love <laughs> so i definitely love any dishes that allows me to um really go uh go quite intense with flavor um, and spice. I used to like turkey a lot, smoked turkey. I used to love smoked turkey a lot. I do like, I love dumplings. Oh my gosh, I love dumplings so much of a passion. That's leaning more to the Asian side. I love dumplings. And I'm gonna insert my favorite ones that I like and see if I can pronounce them. Um, my fitness hard girl, the sumai. Those are my favorites. I absolutely love dumplings. I love, um, speaking of, Asian cuisine, I love. There's this something called toki, toki. I don't know. It's like a pastry. Okay, I'm gonna insert a picture because I'm not doing it any justice. But this, I think it's a Korean, Korean originated from Korea. I'm not sure, but it's so so good. I love. I'm a pasta spaghetti rice kind of girl. I forgot rice and stew as well. Um, it's really nice. Um, what else? I've said a lot of savory dishes. Let's move on to sweet. When it comes to sweet, uh, I love apple crumble. I think that's definitely up there with the British. Apple crumble, obviously bear in mind it's much you know colder climate over here. So apple crumble is a dessert, uh, which consists of, you know, apples, that sort of beautiful crumbly topping. And um, I love drenching it in custard. Some people like to have it with ice cream. So apple crumble is one of my favorite British um, Desserts. I also like cake. Oh my goodness! I need to shout out Cake Box. Cake Box. They uh, they create eggless cakes, and it is so 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 good. Honestly, look at this cake. It is so good. It's like my favorite cake in the world. One of my favorite cakes in the world. And I love the fact that it's not overly sweet. It's very fresh, very light, and it's just the most incredible experience for your taste buds. They explode. I also like um, sorbet. I love lemon sorbet. I love obviously ice cream. I used to love the lemon ice cream and bubblegum ice cream when <laughs> in primary school when the ice cream van used to come. In terms of fruit or sweet things, I like kiwis, I like strawberries, I like gala apples, pink lady apples. I like, yeah, satsumas, tangerines, pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. When I went to Nigeria back in 20, I think 18, um, I saw pineapples growing from the ground for the first time in my life. And I, I'm not just talking about one, two, three, like that's one of the beauties about the motherland is that they just have the tropical climate, the sun in abundance. So it's like, these crops are really thriving. And if you see the size of these pineapples, I was like, I was in heaven, but I I was so naive because I was like, oh my gosh, is this where they come from? Uh, mangoes as well. I, I feel like every, <laughs> One in two Africans probably just love mango. Yeah, really nice. I think this wraps up all of my favorite foods that I can think of from the top of my head. Although I'm feeling a little bit hungry now. Anytime I travel around the world, it doesn't matter. When I come back, I I crave a ham sandwich. And I know, oh honey, we got some Nigerian sunshine, okay. Uh, I would love for you guys to get a conversation going in the comments. What foods do you love? What is your favorite Nigerian food? Like if I was to say right now, I'm gonna send this food right to your plate. Cause we like our food hot, period. 
uh, what would that be? And I'd like you to share in the comments what your favorite British foods are, what's your favorite British snacks. Um, and yeah, let's get a conversation going because who doesn't love food? Thanks for watching guys, see you soon. Bye.